<laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Gideon, he, him pronouns. And my name is Addison, he, him pronouns. We're from the Pride Center of Western New York, and we're here to give you a sexual health presentation. So we saw that a lot of people, other organizations are also doing sexual health um, presentations, so we wanted to make it fun. So we decided to do, to do a more of a trivia setting, and so we're doing Jeopardy. Um, so I'll be sharing my screen with you now so you can see the Jeopardy questions. But if everyone could go around um, and say their name and preferred pronouns, that would be great. A big reason for the names is um, each of you will be able to be your own team for this Jeopardy game. And um, so I'd like to know your name so I could know which team is winning. And also, you will all be receiving um, a gift card at the end for completing this. Um, Jeopardy sexual health game. Let me. Um, I just posted a job form in the in the chat. Um, if everyone could click on that as well, um, just so we can gather some of your information. And there's a pretest there um, because we'd like to know what you learned today. Um, so there's some sexual health questions and a pretest there. If everyone could also jump on that. And after you take a few minutes to look at that, um, if you don't feel comfortable talking out loud, you can type in the chat box and we'll keep an eye on it. Um, and that goes for like answering Jeopardy questions as well. Absolutely. Addison is going to be watching the screen. So if you think you know the answer to one of the questions, just put in up an emoji, a hand wave or anything like that. And whoever gets it first will get the opportunity to answer the question. If um, no one knows the answer, then we'll just read it and talk about it. So we'll give you a couple minutes to fill out the job form that I just put in the chat. And we will get start sharing our screen so you can see our Jeopardy game. Can everyone see my screen? Thank you. It looks like some folks might be having a technical error with the pretest. If you all want to take a look at it, it looks like it's asking for a name, but it's not accepting the name. Okay. Um, if the job form's not working, um, if everyone wouldn't mind just putting in their email address um, into the, you can directly message um, Cream and just if, and give us your email address, we can email you the pre and post tests. If and you're comfortable with that. Yeah, and you we can, will make sure that that information is kept confidential and not included in any of the recordings or public transcript. Absolutely, that'll be can be sent directly to us. You don't have to share it with everyone. I'll give everyone just a couple minutes.
So it looks like when I went to fill out the pretest, um, it says you can enter a valid email address and that's what it's accepting. So um, if you put your email address in there, it should work. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Um, it looks like the JOT form has been updated by our fabulous Pride Center staff. Thanks for your patience, everyone. I'm just going to make the um, team names the name that you are showing on Zoom. So let me know if anyone has an issue with this. You can send us a direct message. All right, we have changed the team names and we're ready to get started. Um, we're going to start with sexually transmitted infections for 100. True or false, if sexually active with one partner, you should be tested for STIs every six months to a year. And if you have multiple partners, you should get tested every three months or after a new partner. So whoever um, has the answer first can raise their hand or speak up. Or type in the chat. Or type in the chat. Okay, awesome. The correct answer, what is true? Good and job, Bridget. Good job, Bridget. So now, Bridget, you can choose the next category and for how much. And you can say it or type it in. Okay, we're going to do prep for 100. This drug, when taken correctly, prevents HIV infection. Intense. It, it's the 100 question for prep and pep. Correct answer is what is prep? So no one got this one. I will choose the next one. Let's do sexually transmitted infections for 200. These sexually transmitted infections can be cured by antibiotics for 200. OK, 
Give everyone about 10 more seconds. All right, the right answer is what is chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis? Um, Bridget, you're close, we'll give it to you. Also, going back to the last question, Luna, um, you said that uh, you answered the HIV vaccine. I just wanted to jump in and mention that there currently is not an approved HIV vaccine. Um, they're working on it and hopefully we'll have that soon, but unfortunately there's not um, a vaccine for that quite yet. Correct. Um, but you can prevent HIV through PrEP, which is pre-exposure prophylaxis. And if taken every day, it's completely effective to prevent the transmission of HIV. So it's not a vaccine, but it is a preventative method that works. Okay, Bridget, you get to choose the next category and for how much. Okay, we got HIV for 200. HIV can progress to this syndrome if left untreated. That is correct. What is acquired immune deficiency syndrome? Nice job, Bridget. Killing it. Killing it. Um, yeah, so that's correct. If you have contracted HIV and you are not in treatment, um, eventually it can progress into AIDS. All right, Bridget, you get to choose the next one as well. LGBTQ sex practices for 200. This form of contraception is primarily used with vaginal oral sex. And once again, correct. What is dental dam? Awesome. Killing it. <laughs> 700 points. Okay, you get to choose the next one also. STIs 300. Discharge is a symptom of gonorrhea. This color commonly indicates an infection. <laughs> Come on, pick a color, any color. Close, but not quite. Correct answer is what is green? It can also be yellowish in color too. Yeah, it can be yellowish, greenish in color. Okay. Oh, Axel. Good job, Axel. Good job, Axel. Sorry, we didn't see it. All right, Axel coming behind with 300. Axel, you can choose the next category. PrEP 100's taken, but I'll take that for PrEP 200. True or false, PrEP prevents contracting all sexually transmitted infections. Okay, Bridget says false. What is false? You are correct. PrEP is only effective at preventing HIV and no other 
STIs. Right. And Bridget, you got it first. Okay. Bridget, you can choose the next category. Okay, sexual practices for 300. True or false, all medical professionals are competent in LGBTQ plus sexual health care. <laughs> Luna, what is false? You are so correct. Good job. That's super false. And <laughs> that's why it's really important to know about your own sexual health, because a lot of times you might go to the doctor and they're not going to bring up LGBT sex practices at all. So you're not getting the quality health care that you might need and might have to teach them some things. Absolutely. And it's also important to educate yourself. Um, yeah. Doctor not knowing what a dental dam is, that's mm. not surprising, but very wild. Um, sometimes we're the ones educating them on our, mm -hmm. but that's why it's important to tell them everything you're doing. And um, let, and it's also great to change doctors if they don't know anything about your sexual health and anything that's good for you, switch. Okay, and we're moving on. Luna is choosing sexual practices for 100. True or false, LGBTQ plus communities have higher rates of drugs, alcohol, and substance use. All right, Bridget already says what is true, and that is correct. Does anybody have any idea why that might be? Because I think sometimes people might think that that's a stereotype against like the LGBT community, but it actually is true. Yeah, discrimination, I think, definitely plays into it. I mean, the things that we face as a community can be really difficult and traumatic at times. and drugs and alcohol can be a way to cope with that. Um, also, if you're thinking historically where LGBT people are able to gather, it's often bars and clubs and drugs and alcohol are very present there. Right, coping mechanism. Um, it's just important that we find healthy coping mechanisms as well, I mean, I personally love music and exercise, but also partake in drinking sometimes and everyone's different, just figuring out what's best for you and keeping a close monitor on that. <laughs> right. All right, Bridget, go ahead and choose the next one. All right, we got prep for 300. True or false, PrEP, PEP have known interactions with recreational drugs, alcohol, or hormones. All right, Luna, what is false? Correct. Good job. Or what, oh wait, <laughs> my bad. What is true? <laughs> um, I got it backwards. PrEP has no known interactions with recreational drugs, alcohol, or hormones. Womp womp. Okay. Which is good, right? Because people are always asking about interactions. And um, yeah, as far as we know so far, there aren't any. Um, I'll pick the next one. Let's do HIV for 100. The acronym HIV stands for. And the correct answer, human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. And that one goes to Luna. And Bridget, the human papillomavirus is different and that would be HPV. 
All right, Luna, you get to choose the next one. All right, LGBTQ plus sexual practices for 400. True or false, you can adequately disinfect sex toys with soap and water. What is false? You actually need toy cleaner to completely disinfect your toys. So go out and buy some toy cleaner if you're using soap and water. And also certain type of, of like hand soap could leave a residue on your toy that you're not gonna want inside of your body. Right, and they can also break down the toys over time. Okay, I will choose HIV for 300. True or false, people on effective HIV treatment cannot pass HIV to others. All right, Axel, what is true? That is correct. Yeah, so this is true because if people are taking their HIV regimen um, every day and just as prescribed, their viral load goes down to undetectable. And when your viral load is undetectable, you cannot pass the virus to any sexual partners or you can't transmit it, period, so. Those are the facts. Axel, can you choose the next category? HIV 400. These fluids can transmit HIV. But not if you're undetectable. Very close, semen, blood, breast milk, vaginal and rectal fluids, and pre-ejaculate or pre-cum. Uh, but that was very close, Bridget, we'll give it to you. All right, Bridget, you can choose the next one. All right. STIs for 400. This STI can cause a rash on the palms of hands and on the soles of feet during its secondary stage. Galena, yeah, you can let them in. Hi to the person who just joined. We're playing Sexual Health Jeopardy. Um, we're kind of nearing the end, however, so um, you'll just have to listen and learn. Um, if you actually, I'll put our job form back in the chat. So if you wouldn't mind um, clicking on this job form and giving us a little bit of your information, um, we're giving everyone a um, Grubhub gift card who joins with us today and participates. <laughs> okay, some funny answers, but no correct answers. The correct answer is, what is syphilis? 
Syphilis in a secondary stage um, does, you can have a rash on the palms of your hands, soles of your feet. And I've actually heard of people having a rash on their chest and neck as well. All right, I'm going to choose prep and pep for 400. This emergency drug regimen prevents HIV infection if taken within 72 hours of exposure, and that's exposure to HIV. All right, good job, Luna. What is PEP, post-exposure prophylaxis? So PEP is the same medication that's in PrEP, but it's giving in a much higher dose um, if you've been exposed to HIV, but you have to make sure and take it within 72 hours of exposure. Good job. Okay, it's getting closer. All right, LGBTQ plus sexual practices for 500. This could get someone caught up. True or false, antibacterial mouthwash can lower risk of STI transmission if used before and after sexual encounters. What is true? Good job, Luna. Good job. It's neck and neck, 13 to 1400 axles. Could, you could still get up there. We got a big points coming. All right, Luna, next category, please. All right. Awesome, I'm glad y'all are learning stuff. PrEP PEP for 500. PrEP becomes fully effective at preventing HIV infection and in blank days after starting regimen. So it's asking how many days it takes to become fully effective. Okay, everyone has responded and no one is correct. Um, the correct answer is what is 20 days? Um, and this is to become completely effective. It starts becoming effective shortly after taking it, but to become completely effective is 20 days. All right, I will choose HIV for 500. True or false? HIV negative individuals who currently have an STI may be increased risk of becoming infected with HIV. Uh, looks like what is true and Bridget answered first. And this is, so I think a lot of times you might see this in the context of like people who are having more sex are like higher at risk for both of these things. And that's the reason that they give for this correct answer. But it's a little more complicated than that, because if you currently have an STI, you um, have more inflammation, which um, um, yeah, you could have inflammation from the STI, which um, makes white blood cells come closer to the point of insertion. And so it's easier, easier for HIV to connect with those white blood cells, and it'll be transmitted by replicating within those, which is kind of tricky, but that's um, kind of the easy way to describe it. Also, sometimes you have ulcers from STIs. Which is just a which is a breakage, which anything can get an easier, including HIV. So, okay, last question. 
Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we have a dispute on who got that last one first. Um, it's showing different on two screens. So um, the good news is everyone's a winner and everyone's getting a gift card. So <laughs> uh, last question is sexually transmitted infections for 500. Um, this STI can increase the chances of developing anal cancer. No correct answers yet. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. The correct answer, what is HPV? Um, that is correct. Um, so HPV is a virus that um, has a bunch of different strains. Some of those strains can lead to cancer, unfortunately, and that can be anal cancer, throat cancer. Um, the good news is, is there, are, there are preventative me methods for this. Um, there's Gardasil that's now available um, a little more widely than it used to be, and you can also get it um, when you're older now, which you it used to be you had to be under, I think it was 26 or something like that. And now you can get it up to like 40 or something. So um, yeah, so if you haven't had the Gardasil shot, highly recommend it. It prevents the strains of HPV that cause cancer. Um, yeah, so it's a good idea to get that. Bridget is absolutely our winner. Good job, Bridget, <laughs> but good job everyone, honestly. Smart. Yeah, smart cookies. You know a lot about sexual health. Um, okay, awesome. I as well have my HPV vaccine. <laughs> and I was afraid that my insurance wasn't going to cover it, but they ended up covering it because they extended it because, you know, I'm over 26. So um, I'm not going to put in the post test in the link to see what y'all learned. And this also has your a spot to enter your email. So make sure you put that in there because we'll send you um, a gift card. One moment, please. In the meantime, does anybody have any questions about anything that we went over? You can drop in the chat. And I just dropped um, the job form for the post test. So we'll see if um, any of the answers are different. Maybe you learned something today. And I appreciate everyone for participating. Um, yeah, if you have any questions involving our services or sexual health, drop them in. Yes, that is correct. Um, Glean asked that PrEP has only been studied on assigned male at birth people. Um, that is true. I actually think they're going to do a trial. Um, they're planning a trial right now, but I think it was pushed because of COVID. So I honestly don't know what's happening with that. Um, but that's why we included the 20 days because um, uh, vaginal tissue is the slowest to be um, effective with PrEP. So they give like the 20 days because that includes everyone, so.
While we're waiting on any other questions, I might just add that we here at the Pride Center do provide um, rapid HIV testing. We also have take-home tests. So you can just call us and we can bring you the take-home test and you can do it in the comfort of your own home. Um, if you have any questions about it, you could call and we could walk you through it. Um, we also have a lot of condoms here if anyone needs any safer sex kits, including dental dams, as we were talking about. Um, and lubricant as well. Lots of lubricants. Um, and we also assist people with legal name and gender marker changes. Um, we have support groups. We have transgeneration um, for people of trans experience. Um, some of it's social, some of it's support group. Um, but if you have any interest in that, reach out to us. Um, and then we also have a program for young men who have sex with men um, called CODE. And it's also social, but we also talk about sexual health stuff as well. So a lot of our programming is geared towards that. And luckily in May, we're gonna start to incorporate some more in-person activities, hopefully outdoors. Um, so we're really excited about that and keep your eyes peeled. And it looks like our address and phone number has been dropped in the comments. Thank you so much. Everybody. Um, yeah, we do have an age range for a lot of our programming. Um, for if you identify as um, a young man or boy who have sex with other men and boys, it's 13 and over. Um, our trans programming kind of starts at a adult age. Um, but so that's why we have Gliss with us too. So they provide programming for youth and then it transitions into us once you become of adult age. But we would love to help you with anything you need though. Call us anytime. Um, you can absolutely, we can absolutely help you no matter what age. Were there any problems with this job form or did it go smoothly? That's going to be cool. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for the feedback. Awesome. Well, we'll be sending those gift cards to your email. Hope you have a nice meal out of it. Um, any last questions? Don't be afraid to ask. You can also send a direct message to us if you don't want to ask in front of everyone. Well, folks are just thinking for, yeah, um, thinking if they have any last few questions, I'm going to drop our registration form um, in the chat box again. Uh, if you uh, came in a little bit late or haven't had a chance to fill that out. If you've been to another workshop, you don't need to fill it out again. But if you do, you'll have a chance to win a gift card from Gliss as well. So we're just all about the gift cards today. Um, and I want to thank our fantastic presenters, Addison and Gideon from the Pride Center for coming um, and organizing this. That was great. And I've been to a lot of sexual health workshops, like you said. Um, and that was super engaging. I learned a lot for myself personally. Um, oh, that's awesome. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all for participating. Yeah, thank you for participating. I'm glad everyone learned stuff. Awesome. So, we'll see you all in person soon. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> it's starting to warm up, hopefully, and we can do more in person events. So, we'll be doing more sexual health um, in person stuff probably starting next month or the month after. So check our social media, Instagram, Facebook, our website. 
Awesome. Um, yes, we will be posting information as well. Um, anything that y'all send over to us, we're happy to post that on our social media as well to keep our youth informed. And hopefully we'll be able to get some more collaborative events um, with Gless in the Pride Center going into our fabulous Pride season in the summer. Um, so yeah, I've posted those last little bits as well as the link to our diversity prom, which is on June the 4th, um, which you're going to register for at our Eventbrite, which is going to be uh, virtual this year, but we're going to have a fantastic DJ and some drag performances, so it's going to be a really fun time. Um, if you are staying for our next workshop, I will be closing the room just momentarily so that I can save the recording, and then it will be coming back up. Um, please feel free to, like uh, Gideon said, to reach out to the Pride Center with their contact information um, or contact our GLIST staff um, if you want to know more about what we do with the Pride Center. Um, and I just, again, want to thank everyone for coming and for being so engaged. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, thanks so much, everyone. Very nice to meet everyone digitally. I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Yeah, enjoy. Thanks.